I don't wanna, right? Yeah, or I don't want, yeah. It's all I don't want yet. whatever you want. This is the, the, the <laughs> part, the part where, where? This is the part where I say I don't want yeah, you. Yeah, you say part. Yes, the but part. But when you sing, you go, part! Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where I say I don't wanna. I'm, I'm working on the pronunciation thing. That's a no. recur, it's a recurring problem. <laughs> any injuries caused by how much I sing or how mm, I sing. Mm, mm, so I think I'm doing it properly. Yeah. I only have ever had vocal issues when, it's, when I've been screaming or mm -hmm. ha like laughing too loud or yeah, yeah. being, you know, wild, which doesn't happen mm -hmm. often. But mm. um, I think that's, that's, you know, I think the, the practice just came from doing it so much. When you look into my eyes, you make me feel so. <laughs> vocal talent there. Um, I'm not gonna sit up here and say I'm a Whitney Houston, but there's definitely vocal talent here, and I'm aware that my single goodies. Sometimes my mouth is smart, I can be insecure. Counting God the people's blessings. I started late in terms of recording. I would always start late at night and go away to early in the morning until I'm dying and I can't sing anymore sing anymore. But also when I wasn't recording, I was also working on the visual stuff. And that. I've given all my heart can give, give, but now it's gonna go like this. I'm always gonna go like this. I'm over you, I'm more than moving on. Yep. I like the way, I love the way you touch me. Do the leave it, do it up, then I drop it, drop it till you make it face it, dollar like it. Wanna tell me that it? I'ma do it, do it, do it, do it. Girl, take no more. Till my lipstick ink up on my face. It was fun. It was exhausting. You know, they all want you to host the party every time they get on the plane mm -hmm. drunk after the show, and you really only have that time to sleep until you get yeah. to the next country. And so I used my time wisely because I knew I had seven countries and seven shows and I had to save my voice so I didn't go crazy I didn't party too hard I did have fun though and I you know I tried to I don't want to do this to listen to some of the records that I put out to know that I had to dilute my voice you know as a young woman in the industry when it's very predominant um, so yeah I mean I've definitely I mean I can't even listen to some of the recordings that I did and the reason I realized like butter like her voice is just like melts it's just so soft and pretty and I'm 
like, I'm not very good at soft singing. So I think that's why we kind of go with each other. <laughs> probably about Ooh. seven or eight. I used to hit all the Mariah Carey notes and higher, but when I had my first son, of course, I had the morning sickness for a whole six months of the pregnancy, and so it gave me really bad acid reflux. So it kind of burned up <laughs> some of my vocal cords, so now they don't work as well as they could. But okay. when we're on tour and then I'm like oh cool I get to sing all 17 of these songs every night <laughs> like over and over yeah, it's that's when I lower I the songs honest. yeah <laughs> well that, that's the yeah that's what you do that he had heard that I had been singing jazz for so long. Perhaps I was even afraid I had lost that part of me. Where? <laughs> quite wary because you know the voice is an instrument like any instrument you can't just like change a string like you can on a guitar like you really have to look after it so I try and I was classically trained so I keep up my training a lot and also just try not to party too hard when I have to sing the next day you know just being a bit smart you know Death on stage um, it can be because I definitely have hit some notes that I never thought I'd be able to hit purely through adrenaline. <laughs> so yeah, it can be definitely. How would you describe your vocal?
my voice holds a lot of value to myself and to other people. And um, I've had to kind of work on my relationship with that and find other things that, you know, and it's like, I've got these two little tiny chords and everything is balanced on top of these little, whenever you get scoped and you actually see it, it's really crazy when you see how much force and pressure, you know, everything, my stability in my life is balanced on these tiny little chords. And when you look at these other, it's just so important that now I've been really training because I, I, I learned what happens when you don't train, um, and it's just really important to to take care of these, you know, things that that. I had a surgery last November. Um, I was one of the younger artists that had ever had this surgery when I was looking at, you know, the Steven Tyler's on the wall, and I'm like, I'm not here yet. Why do my chords look like Steven Tyler? I was 26, and I'm still I'm getting this surgery that six-year-old touring artists are getting. But I'm feeling really good, and I've done the rehabilitation that it takes, so I never want to do that again. And I don't smoke anymore, and I'm sober. How uh, long have you been sober? But for? I I've been sober since the pretty much the vocal surgery kind of did it for me um, because I just learned so much about the effect. <laughs> but it's my false falsetto. It's still a part of my voice that's not trained. Um, I just got lucky, you know, in the studio you can get kind of lucky. I'm still nurturing that part of my voice because my other false stops at a certain point. So I'm still finding the pocket of my false falsetto. Sometimes my false falsetto doesn't even start in the right key and we can't have that. <laughs> I have to still work on it. And I love that I have so much more to work on and so much more to learn in music, so still an open book. I'm gonna be honest with you, I struggled with uh, the vocal Bible title for a long time because it felt like a pedestal. It felt so much pressure to always be, you know, vocally what was expected of me. Game because yeah. sometimes when you, well, sometimes when I don't practice, I kind of lose the, the cleanliness of the run or the tone can be a little bit scratchy. So I, 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 I practice as much as I can. In 50 years or so, it's gonna change, you know. But how is everyone nowadays? The key that we have agreed on, he changed it to a key and a half for the modulation. I'm by myself anymore. He ch and I was like, is that the final, the, the key that finishes is the key that we chose, right? No, he says it's a key and a half higher. Oh my God. But I said, David, how could you do that? Well, he said, if you can't do it, there's other singers next door that can. Ooh. And that's all I needed to hit the note. Yes, I'm sure. It. And then everybody was like, she can't sing. She just a pretty face or her butt is big or whatever they were saying about me. And I started thinking, yeah, that's true. Couldn't allow myself to let that become who I was. I was like, no, I'm going to make another record. Even myself. Maybe that was happening because deep down I didn't believe. But once I started believing, I would, because then I'd go into the studios and be like, well, you know, I'm not a great singer, but, and they're like, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, you know, whatever, you know, I don't sing like Aretha Franklin. And they're like, it doesn't matter. You sing like Jennifer Lopez and people love it. And I'm like, they do? And she's like, yes. And it's moments like that that you remember that people just, they plant a seed for you. To look at I don't ever have to doubt that in my mind. Nobody can ever make me doubt it again. Why do you think you didn't know that before? Um, probably because there was a lot of talk of that type of thing. Even
emotion for what I do um, but I mean I definitely I think I I, I, um, I definitely try to warm it up before I'm about to go on stage and whatnot a good hour or so beforehand just because it's kind of like any other muscle it's like an athlete if you're a runner it's like you want to kind of warm up and loosen up your muscles a little bit before you go out there so you're warm and ready to play the game so whenever I go on stage and right before I'm about to attack my performance um, I want to make sure that I'm good and warm and ready to go out there and give the best I can. Well, we've only scratched the surface. This is <laughs> Because if you move like that, it would go like that. Okay, okay, I thought you would take me from the over. It's impossible, impossible, baby. Oh, oh. One more time, one more time. Oh, oh. I'm not a huge fan of being in the studio. The headphones can be confining and, and the mic distance that you're supposed to play with. I don't like all that. After a while, it gets really old to me. Oh, Sometimes I get really frustrated, sorry, and I scream like that. But yeah, it's a long process to, to be in there. Oh, baby, it's impossible! a special life there's some things that uh, that can affect you vocally um, mm -hmm. uh, like for me air conditioning uh, totally totally takes my voice away um, most singers that I know um, have the same problem with air conditioning it's a it's a drying agent so it dries out you know all the moisture and this has to have plenty of moisture so yeah for me air conditioning is the one thing that'll wipe it out from, you know, when you stick your finger down your throat, acid stuff comes up and it scars your finger. The damage was palpable. It was palpable in her voice. You could hear it, her frame. I just hated myself. I, I hated myself. I really was so disgusted with myself and so embarrassed. I felt so alone. I was in a group and I never felt so alone in my life. <laughs>
always try to grow as a songwriter and definitely as a singer. I'm never satisfied and I feel like we always have room to grow. We always have um, lessons and even our mistakes. And um, I'm always trying to Due to the weather, due to the delay, due to no, no proper sound check, I did not feel comfortable taking a risk. I decided to sing along with my pre-recorded track. In fact, and the rock is red, yet wet. They kept telling you to hold back, to pull it back, to pull it back? Um, well, vocally, definitely, yeah, yeah. because for Dina, that was the easiest part. I didn't have to, you know, Dina had a very soft voice, and she, she didn't have a lot of soul. So I couldn't <laughs> grunt, I couldn't growl, I couldn't, I couldn't sing how I wanted to until listen, yeah. um, which is, you know, that important moment. Yeah. 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 Put your arms around me. I get to feel that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna work harder. <laughs> Open your eyes to what's in front of you. We're your dream girls. Boys will make you happy. Yeah, we're your dream girls. I have time to take any lessons or anything like that. I really haven't taken vocal lessons. That's something I would really like to do, just to you know improve my craft and just be the best that I that I personally can be. Um, but as of yet, I have not. So in the meantime, I mean, once I signed my deal, actually before I even signed it, I, we started recording the album. Good for me. But I think it was just too too straightforward for me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't I didn't feel like I got to show off my range or anything. How was it too? I have to ask you that. Oh. Actually, not very easily because we we kind of adjusted the key a little bit because I wanted to hit this really high note at the end, and mm -hmm. so you know we tried a lot of things, but I just felt really. Was, it was more um, pop than anything mm. that I had wanted to do. When I was recording my first album and I was 12, I was like, I am an R&B artist. I sing soul music. I don't want to conform. And then I conformed. So I was just, you know, uh, that song was probably the most pop song that was on the record. Mm. And like I said, I'm very grateful for the things that it did for me. But I think... Get work, so get my money.
knife to my heart Cut out the rational part I knew that you were just misunderstood Cause you give me mad love How far can we go? Nobody knows You give me bad love I'm just, I'm not impressed with my my vocals on man, so I asked him to come in and help me redo it. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes, you know I'm crazy. Honestly, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, damn, yeah. I'm gonna need myself a man. Someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Said I need. Come on. I'm not saying today. I was up all night. <laughs> and lived at the studio in a little apartment that I made for myself right off the live room. And I would just sleep until I was ready vocally and then go and record. Um, people may not know on, on the days when I do a live show, like uh, um, a concert, I have to stay in bed two days before that and really, really rest my voice. And I can't talk to anybody, so I just have to text message everybody. So it's really boring, but it's actually good for my, good for my throat, and it's good if I don't feel like talking to people. So there you go, five things you need. Actually, <laughs> if, I, if I'm having to do like a performance or something, I'll just test it out and see, is it there today? Okay. Because it's not always there. It's not? Mm -hmm. Do you have to do something special to make sure you have that range? Or no, I don't know. Just totally random? Well, I don't know what it is. Sometimes, actually, if I'm hoarse, like if my regular voice is hoarse, it's almost better up there. I don't know. It's a huh. strange thing. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you find anything. He's no, going to talk to Filming! Sorry. But, I mean, you know, that's a part of my voice that some people, it's, you can't please everyone. Some people are like, I hate when she does that. Some people are like, how come you never use it? I don't know. I mean, it's just There are just so few people who can do it. Well, it's just a part of my voice. I mean, some people like it, some people don't like it. I enjoyed... I... Caution. I love some of the songs from Caution, but I don't think I was at the place vocally where I, I could be now. Also, it was rushed. Not that it was rushed, and I'm not look, I didn't have the time I would normally take. And I really wish I did have that time to do a few more records on that album mm -hmm. to just, you know, fully have that um, expression. But what are you gonna see with caution? Don't be dishonest. I need you closer to love me. Baby, I smell 